it's a weird one, you know. Sometimes, <coughs> sometimes you just gotta accept that it ain't your day in the gym, especially when you're in a deficit. It's, it's just not gonna happen every single time. You're not gonna set a PR every single session, or you're not gonna match the PR that you set last week every single time. Depends on how you feel, what you've done the day before, what you've done in the days leading up to it. But hey, today was not my day for flat bench, but we still got six paused for three sets on 90. The fact that I'm now disappointed with that, the fact that that's now a loss to me is very, very good. Because I would have been over the moon with that two, three months ago. Perspective, you know? Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll take it, I'll take it. in life now oh, where I need to be on point you know I need to be organized I've never had it before where I've had to be this organized in terms of when my training is going to be when I'm going to eat when I'm going to do my cardio when I'm going to work when I'm going to edit it all has to be strategically planned now and that it's not something that I'm used to, to be completely honest. It's not something that I've ever really had to do with being at uni. If you knew here, I used to be a student at Nottingham Trent. And I could just kind of do what I wanted when I wanted. I don't have that now. Let me tell you why that's a good thing. See, <clears throat> with all this planning and stuff that I have to do, it's, uh, <laughs> it's actually led to the most kind of productive period of training that I've ever had. Because it's had to be, you know? I've had to say, right, I'm training from nine and I've got until half past ten. Or, you know, I'm coming home and so I'm going to get in there and do it straight away, you know? At the end of the day or I've got this time around lunchtime, that's when I'm gonna train, okay? Or today, you know, I have a bit more time, I can be a bit more relaxed with that, I can film a video, I can do this and that. And as, as funny as it sounds, having more stuff on my plate and more stuff to do has actually made me the most productive with social media, made me the most productive in life in general, with my diet, with training, because I've had to be. Does that, 
Does that make any sense? <sighs> and basically what that means now is that I feel very good. You know, I, I feel like my physique is the best it's ever been. Although there's going to be people watching this going, Oh, it's William, you look like shit. <laughs> it's like, well, yeah, but this is the best I've ever looked. I can only compare myself to myself, right? I'm not about that comparing myself to the Instagram model's life. I'm not, I'm not about that life. I compare me to me. So what I like to do, you guys see me wear this vest a lot, right? I wear it a lot, and I've never really explained why, other than it being my favourite, obviously, you know, I've had it since uni, and, you know, I, I just like the vest, I love this colour. But, it's actually very intentional that I wear this vest a lot. You know, obviously I want to make a cool kind of tran transformation video once this diet is done, and if I've worn this vest and similar clothing a lot of the time, you can actually tell the genuine differences, the tightness, how the clothes fit, you know, in the same lighting in the home gym, whether it's at Emporium, whether it's at Charlotte's house, you know, uh, I tend to wear the same SpongeBob boxes for those kind of, you know, in her bathroom shots. And, and you might just think, God, do you, Liam, do you ever get changed? <laughs> and I get that, I do get that, because, you know, um, one of my mates, Jake, actually said the exact same thing to me, and I was like, yeah, I, I felt the need to explain, you know? But if I'm wearing the same clothes, this is going to sound stupid, right? If I'm wearing the same clothes in the same lighting situation, in the same home gym, I can tell the differences within my physique easily. Rather than me saying, oh, okay, I'm wearing a t-shirt in this shot, you know, the lighting's maybe a bit darker in this shot, or there's a window light, so that lighting's really good, you know? I can have very similar photos, very similar videos in order to compare how I look at certain weights. And what I've done is noted down exactly how I look, right? And so throughout this process, uh, exactly how much I weigh, sorry, not how much, I, how much I look, that doesn't make any sense, but I'm sure you got what I meant. And so when this transformation video comes around, it's gonna be really cool because I'll be wearing all of the same clothes and you'll be able to see these visual differences at the click of a finger because that's, you know, how editing works. And it'll be really, really cool. And so, I know there's going to be people that think, Liam, for God's sake, get changed. But it's all for a reason. Just bear with me. This will also um, keep me topped up. In other news, if you're following me on Instagram, you'll know um, my phone is f***ed. Um, it won't record audio, which led me to do this talk in the car earlier. Don't worry, I have like a hands-free thing. I wasn't touching the phone. Um, and there's no sound. I also did... This earlier. Testing, testing. Smacking the phone and everything. And then the phone, the sound comes on for someone else's video, but. Um, I'm working on it, I think I just need to update it. I'm hoping I just need to update it. Um, but yeah, it, it is what it is, you know? Time to put in that scheduled cardio, you know? Because I'm so organized with my life right now. Of cardio. Did you know that it was like, hey, this, this one packs a punch? No, do you know what's so people. sick about that? I, I, remember, I remember I went to studio with Sparrow and then um, he played this. And the, re the reason why I love this tune so much is because as much as it's like 140 grand, it's like, that the, the way I skip on it, it's not, it's like, for example, big, big for your boots is like, when I, when I come around here, you know what I mean? <laughs> this, this is, this is, yeah, this is more, this is a bit like kind of flyer and a bit, um, it's got a bit more spaced out. Yeah. So I made it in Studio with Sparrow and then the, the more I listened to the, to the hook I made, I was like. So I guess we got it here at life, have we not? Let's do it. Let's do it. Songzy, this here is we go. the Skeng on Radio 1, live as once. Radio 1 Live Lounge Turn your speakers up Sounds of the Easy I love this song man Come on yeah. Five, four years on the circuit Every single year I work it I switch those they jerk it I flip mode and reverse it Oh sex I move but you do the math So I look, look to be in the south But I live in the sticks now We live in the back but they pick up my now Got a gold money and a couple of bricks now Pick to my boot but I'm funny kicks now So this photo shoot, right, <laughs> um, I got my hair cut and you know, I just feel like one step further to kind of look the part would be legs um, that aren't 
completely and utterly covered in hair. So um, I did it not too long ago when it was at Body Power and probably only a few weeks ago to be honest, but they're just covered in a layer of fluff. Um, and yeah, just gonna tidy them up uh, a bit. It's a weird kind of thing for me to be doing. It doesn't feel very natural for me to be uh, shaving my legs. Um, although this is like a, a buzz kind of thing, it's not, you know, to the skin. It's just gonna trim them, but you know, still bizarre. It's one of them as well, it's like, well how high do I go? How high is, is, is not weird for me to go up my legs, but then I also don't want to do my entire like lower leg and then just leave the top part because then like what's the point? You know what I mean? Bosh! See like it, it does actually, it, it does make a difference like the lines come out in your quads and stuff it's just like it's not something that I enjoy particularly but you know a very eye-opening experience this past couple of times that I've done it. I have a newfound respect for women and men that do it on a consistent basis. You know, Charlotte shaving her legs pretty much every day. Tough spot, really around the knees and the ankles, isn't it? Job well done to those folk out there that can be bothered to, to keep this up. Yeah. What? No. You're weird. <sighs> packages! Packages! We've got packages galore on the channel recently. What can I open this with? We've got Alpha Leak packages. We've got this package and, you know, <laughs> loads. So, oh, we have uh, four packs of the best protein bar you will ever have in your entire life. Personal favorite being the chocolate peanut butter flavor. PhD bars, 20 grams of protein, 1.9 grams of sugar, 1.9 grams of impact carbs. Going down the hatch. Mm. I literally picked this over like 90% of chocolate bars. Unreal. So in the aftermath of the Alpha Leaked video, we are preparing for the photo shoot tomorrow. Tripod ready, straps because we're going to episode five, the gym, and so I figured I'd, I'd just take, you know, my straps for the best gym episode five. We've got the new joggers, new shorts in there. We've got all sorts of stuff. T-shirts hung up there. Just being organized, you know? Because I'm super duper organized. That's how I developed this incredible physique. How else would you look as good as this? <laughs> On a serious note though, um, I'm really, really excited. I've never done anything specifically kind of, you know, I've gone out and taken photos before, like gone down the park and the cameraman's taken some of me and stuff, but I've never gone out there with somebody that kind of really, really knows what they're doing. We've chosen locations, we're going round, and you know, it's, it's just exciting. Um, it's exciting, I feel like I'm progressing um, in the way that I should be. This is the stuff that I should be doing. This is the stuff that I should have been doing all along, and I'm doing it now. So, you know, it's a step in the right direction, a bit of momentum, and all that good stuff, you know? So, uh, despite what my uh, my mum and dad might think, I, 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 I feel prepared, I feel, like I planned ahead uh, for this. We had a bit of a struggle tonight, like washing the clothes and stuff, but it's all good. Also a phone update, um, it's not working. I don't know what's going on with it, um, but I'm pretty sure it's broken. Um, I, I think I'll, I don't know what I'm gonna do really, to be honest, so I'll figure something out, but for tomorrow, because obviously I'm doing this shoot kind of thing, I, uh, I want to be able to update you guys on uh, Instagram stories and so if you're not following me they'll still be up there because it will be on the day the same day that this video goes up this is Tuesday I'm doing it on Wednesday this video goes live on Wednesday the snaps will be up on Wednesday so take a look 
Links in the description box, like always, guys. Um, I post every single day on Instagram without fail. You know, I, I post most days and I do stories, again, without fail every single day. So you get me two to three times a week on here, but you get me every single day on Instagram. It's a win, 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 right? So, um, yeah, let me know your thoughts on today's video, guys. Let me know. Um, I don't know. I just feel like I've been a lot more productive within the gym and that has then made me productive in real life and I think I, I just think it's, it's a good thing it can kind of translate you know the, going to the gym is just is so much more than going to the gym it can help you in so many other aspects of life it can help you to you know blow off some steam it can help you to celebrate with friends it can help you to well at the end of the day I know plenty of people that run a business by doing this stuff so you know it can help you in many, 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 many ways. Sticking with the five days, I'm hoping to have a new low weigh and I was 168 pounds dead this morning, uh, which is pretty much tied with the lowest we've been. And so I'm hoping to be in the 167s tomorrow morning. But you will know. I'll put it on my Instagram stories. Check it out. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. And stay tuned for Sunday's video. I'm excited for it because, um, you know, it's just a different thing that I've not done before. And I look forward to sharing it with you guys, just like I share everything else. I keep looking at the clothes. Just look how sick they are, just look how sick. Hopefully gonna take some sick photos tomorrow which will be live over the next couple of weeks on the gram. So again, follow me on Instagram. I actually have uh, two people within the last minute respond to my message. I've sorted my mum's old phone out on, on Instagram. I've signed in on my account and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna personal hotspot this so I can actually talk to you guys tomorrow. And I've had two people within the last minute reply to my story saying, oh my God, I can hear you. It's been a whole fiasco, again. You'd know if you were following me on Instagram. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go. I've rambled enough. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for your support. I love you. Check out the Alpha League video if you have not already. Stay tuned for Sunday's video. Together, we will grow. I'm so excited. The best gym episode five next week as well. And I will see you on the Alpha League shoot. I'll see you on the Alpha League shoot.